This is a peculiar movie, so peculiar that I had to look into the story behind it a little bit more. And apparently it's based on a novel by the same woman who wrote The Haunting of Hill House. Which does make sense and they do share some similarities. But the script is written by someone who's mainly worked in TV before. And from the looks of it not exactly the great kind of TV either. Which was a bit surprising because the writing didn't come across as bad or anything. Just very strange. I mean the story itself is already strange. But the approach they took in telling the story is also kind of unconventional. And I guess that has a lot to do with the direction too, which I wouldn't call bad either. But again, everything just comes together to make a very odd movie. One that's about these two sisters living in an old mansion, up on a hill in probably the 50s. And apparently tragedy has stricken the family, but the uncle still lives with them. But the townsfolk kind of think they're oddballs and have started to shun them. And the main conflict here is between the townsfolk and the sisters. But there's also another person who shows up and kind of drives a wedge between the sisters. And one of the reasons for this being such an odd movie is absolutely the characters. Because both the sisters and the uncle are very strange indeed. They all have extremely different personalities, but they're all a little bit off. And that's basically the vibe you get from the movie from the very beginning. That something is clearly off, but it takes a while to figure out exactly what. But even when I had pieced together some of the details, it's still not exactly clear what's going on and what the story is driving at. Even when the credits rolled, I wasn't really sure what the actual point was. That people are capable of terrible things and that family should stick together? I don't know, but here's the thing though, it did keep me intrigued. And it did have this strange sort of charm to it, which made me like it to a certain degree. But it's definitely a very odd movie from a character story and tone point of view. And I'm not sure how many people would even find that little hidden charm in it. Which probably was the only thing that kept me from disliking it. Because the whole story just felt like it wasn't really going anywhere. It sets up this mystery of what exactly happened before the movie starts. But when the reveal comes at the end, it didn't feel especially rewarding or satisfying. And when it was all said and done, it just felt kind of anticlimactic. There was no real twist or anything all that surprising, to be honest. And it just ended up feeling kind of pointless, like things just happened. And that the events that take place in the movie don't really relate to the mystery behind it all. One doesn't drive the other, they feel sort of like two separate things. Which makes both of them feel kind of lackluster and a bit disappointing in the end. And the characters, while intriguing, aren't exactly relatable or even all that likable. So that didn't help me immerse myself in the story either. Now the movie is very consistent, I'll give it that much. It never wavers from the tone it sets. And however strange that tone might be, I did like it. I'm pretty sure that's where the charm came from. And it is competently shot and put together too. I didn't really have any issues in that department. Just a few nitpicks, like some poorly handled CGI toward the end. They tried to cut around it and it just made it look awkward. But overall, I think the real issue here was simply the story itself. The foundation for a great movie just wasn't there. And if that doesn't work, nothing's really gonna fix it. There's not much anyone can do. And the end result was kinda underwhelming and not that impressive. But would I recommend it? Not really, unless it's out of pure curiosity. Otherwise you can probably skip it. Or don't, I'm not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to buy one of those old rundown mansions. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.